a man versus machine kind of world out here. So where are we? What's this mine called? What, what are we Diamond doing? Diamond Mountain. Diamond yeah, Mountain. Little Falls, New York. Okay. Oh, this is it. This is what we're looking for. Oh, look what I just found, you guys. This is cool. Let's work on it. We're going to do something very special today. We're out here in northeastern New York. Uh, the, no, it's basically central New York. Central New York. Yep. And we're doing some pretty cool stuff today. Going to do something I never thought I was going to do. Something I love to do was rock hunting, but these aren't exactly rocks. No, they're a little shinier than rocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being here, everybody. Let's go have some fun. A little bug. Got one right there. Okay. All right. I see. That one's like really pretty and like pure. Might be able to. Oh yeah. Yeah. So come. So there it is, everybody. The first diamond of the day. And there's potential to find some really, really crazy stuff here today. Let's show you some examples. Calcite. So we're gonna scope out our spot, kind of go along, find the areas where we can find a pocket to actually get into this rock and find these things. Then we'll go back and get our tools and really get to work. Typically your I bet if the skeletals and blacks are in this region, the further down this way you go, the rock is harder, but you have more chances of finding those sceptered crystals okay. and opening up, up those pockets. And if you keep looking through all of this, you may find additional pockets. Right, just keep breaking stuff and having to fall apart. Go right along that same layer. Uh -huh. And you may find more. There's a sparkle right there in the in the dirt. Let's see what that is. No, nope, that was a string of some kind. False alarm. False alarm. It's just like fishing. You never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes you score. Sometimes they they don't bite, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the the hunt, the hunt that keeps you going. Yes, it is. That's what brings you back. Oh, this is it. This is what we're looking for. Some little pieces. But check these out. Oh. oh my gosh. There they are. My first one. There's tons of them here, it looks like. I'm gonna keep digging in this. Oh. Wow. There it is. Kind of a fragment of one, right? Yeah, yeah, a little broken. Ooh, that one looks cool. Uh oh. I think I found something. See just the edge of it there. Might need some tools for that one. Let's go tool up. Okay, I've got just a little screwdriver now. I'm gonna start trying to work this in here. Oh yeah. There's some sparklies. Starting to see just like the, a hint of one here. I might need to get a bigger tool to get down in there the way I need to. A little guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, look what I just found, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna try to be careful here. I'm gonna get something to where I can move that a little bit better. Tim, I just found a cool one. It's big. Yeah, that one's freaking badass. This one's cool. Let's work on it. Probably encased in the rock, but that's the front side of the crystal. Probably in the matrix. Where's Keanu Reeves? Yep. <laughs> you might be able to get that whole thing out. And if it's attached to rock, you don't want to break it off the rock. Okay. Because you'll crack the crystal okay. nine out of 10 times. So if it's attached to the rock, leave it attached to the rock, that's okay. Kind of makes it a unique piece at that point. It does, it does. Okay. And you can see where, where it actually formed and pretty cool. But yeah, if you keep finding good stuff like that, I may have to move up here with you. All right. Let's see. <laughs> okay, tools of the trade. I'm gonna go with a lapidary pick, this, and a sledge to start. Let's go see what we can get out. Okay, we're making some headway here, people. We're making some headway. This is looking good. I'm trying to dig all around this thing. Instead of going right at the crystal itself. That way I can work it out gently. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's here? Distractions. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. 
at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo, brother. It's gorgeous. Yes. What's that? So this is that greenish material. Okay. And so if we can find, like I said, I think I saw some of that. I think it might be this, right. maybe. Oh, it's kind of hard to say. But if you can find this, typically one to two feet below it, is where you're going to have a really so good So almost exactly what you're saying here. Yep. Right here is this greenish material. Well, it's about one foot, about two foot. Boom. And we're in the money. Like I said, since you found that pocket, work that seam horizontally, and uh, chances are you'll hit more pockets. Yeah. Oh, here's a really nice calcite crystal in the matrix. Check this out. Oh, that's cool. In the matrix. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Some more. Wow. So once we kind of get a good pile of these guys, I'll go over to the back of the truck. We have a cooler full of water and I'll wash them all off and we can get a really good look at them. But I'm not doing anything until I get this big one out. In the sand down there, I think there's gonna be something good in there. <gasps> beauty. Oh my God. We're getting somewhere. Wow, okay. I like what I'm seeing here, Tim. I'm getting there. Oh, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. <laughs> there it is, everybody. Wow. Yep, I got a good one. Check it out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yes, yes, my fishy friends, diamonds. There we go. That's what I wanted. Wow, look at what I'm working on here, everybody. You can see it cast in there just perfect. I'm gonna see some comments below. What do you guys think of this stuff? I'm in heaven right now. Oh God, there's a bunch of them in here, dude. There's a bunch of them in here, my fishy friends. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. Diamonds are making me hot. Oh man, you got some good stuff already. That's a good one. <laughs> That's, That's sweet. a real good one. <laughs> yeah. It's a good nice. one. There's a pretty good crack right here. That might be our, our avenue. Oh, here's, a, here's a big crystal right there. Yeah. Look, yeah. That, look at that one. Yeah. <laughs> woo, woo. Just get that, get that one? Yeah, get that okay. one. Okay. It's loose, but it is. Just be real careful. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> oh, baby. One. Wow. Nice facets. Wow. It's all rainbowy too in there. You see that? That's got a hydrocarbon core to it. It's got a black core. So we call that a black Herkimer diamond. Wow, okay. Nice score right there. In the pan. So that's like a continuing pocket. So this is what we call Oh, this. here goes another one. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? Oh, no. Oh, there it there is. is. Got a little shard. I don't know, is that? No, that's a piece of one. Which means there's probably more up in there. Just be real careful. Pulling that stuff. Oh, yeah, up. right there. All right, hang right on, there. Hang on, hang on, don't. Oh, that's another good one. All right, so once you get into there, screwdriver is metal and you can crack them easily okay. if you try it. Okay. So once you get into a good pocket like that with big crystals, what you want to use are chopsticks. Ooh, chopsticks, chopsticks. eh? Chopsticks. And the wood will wear away as you're whittling away the stuff around the crystal until it's loosened and come out. Okay. <laughs> hey there, little friend. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's one right above it. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. You feel all those facets? Oh, God. There's one above it. <laughs> that might be all one, actually. So one thing we could try doing. Oh, too. here it comes. Here Did it comes. Those? This top one is. Oh. <laughs> Surprise! Beautiful. Wow. Herkimer diamonds, baby. Yes. Another one. Oh! 
<laughs> brother. Oh, yeah. God. Gravy train. Keep going out. Oh. Nice. Look at that little smokiness at the top there. Does that have a little yellowish hue to it? It does. Because some of them that are yellow, we call those uh, golden healers. And they're said to have a spiritual oh. connection to and make you look at it. it's um, happening right now. Lose anxiety, release stress. Yeah, people wear my necklaces like that to uh, to help with those things. I'm a big believer in that too. All the fun yeah. eggs and stuff that I find is medicine to me. Yeah, it really is. It, it's a it's an energy focus of the of the earth, and it does. It brings a lot of happiness, not only visually, but I think medicinally in a way too. Absolutely. Thanks for a nice pocket up here, Frick. I told you it, it called to me. It called I to got me. Two little bitties down there, and he's pulling out freaking goose eggs here. Natural. <laughs> Beginner's luck. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a good teacher. <laughs> First snack of the day. We're going healthy out here today at the Diamond Mine. We're doing salmon dip lettuce wraps. Just like that. Oh, so healthy. So healthy and nice. Keeps the brain strong. Right? Mmm. Oh. Didn't that go nice together? It's well, refreshing almost. Uh, forget my sub, I'm gonna have to eat. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Very nice. Now where did the salmon come from? From the addicted video. And if you guys didn't see, we went out with Tim. He runs a guide service out here in New York on Lake Ontario for Chinook salmon and all the species really. But go check that out on the addicted fishing page. We made a really, really cool video out here. But this is a freshly caught salmon we got two days ago. And I whipped it up into a little dip for us today. Mm, delicious. Mm. How's it going? <laughs> oh, sitting on the tailgate eating a snack. Sean found this one. Probably one of the coolest ones so far today. Wow. And then found this one while munching on a little lettuce wrap. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Holy sh**. <laughs> Holy sh** is right. <laughs> this is upside oh. down. Oh god, that was oh, easy. Just a clear. Here's another one. Oh, this one has the healers. Holy crap. Yeah, that thing is loaded. So, Take a look at this, everybody. So right up here, so this rock was, was, has been rolled over by the excavator. And you can see this pocket that's been exposed. We got some here that we're going to start to get out. But then right where Sean had found his good one sitting here, I looked up at the top of this little hole and it's absolutely loaded. Another. <laughs> Those are all Jenny's beautiful crystals. Another one. Gorgeous. The cool thing too with Herkimer diamonds is each one is unique. You're not gonna find two that are identical. Um, just like snowflakes, each of the surfaces is a different size, different shape, different angle. And so that's another cool thing about these as you pull them out of the pockets is each one is like its own entity. It's really cool. Another one. Wow. Now these ones seem like perfect for faceting and stuff because they're like large enough to carve down, Correct. you know? Yep. So I'm going to keep doing them. Now keep this is back. very interesting, you guys. You can see how this is literally a pocket like this is oh just two of them three of them, Bunch of them came down they all fell down this is super interesting the way these pockets form it's a little more like what he was talking about about these genuine pockets where i was finding them up here and i'm still gonna go find more they seem to be kind of all like packed into like a little crevice but these are like true pockets here oh golly look at this one now we're talking boys now we're talking. Look at how double terminated that one is. Pretty. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. That's a big calcite crystal. And it's funny, I've seen these in rock shops and people's houses all over the world. But we're just throwing them aside. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that. Garbage. Woo! Look at it. Look at that. This is what he was talking about, where one fell off the surface of the cavity and another one started to grow off of it. Wow. Oh, that looks like a sweet one. Want to crack the rock above it? Probably. I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay. 
Teamwork. That's kind of like a bat fang. Beautiful. Wow. Does that have two points on the top? Yep, bat fang. The base rock shows the, the crystalline form here. You got the calcite base, huge calcite crystals coming out. That's a really nice matrix piece right there. I bet you could sell this for 40 or 50 bucks. Oh! 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 Whoa. Ah, uh, looks like a beaut. I broke it. Yeah. See how rough yeah. it is? Uh, yeah. But it's okay, most of it's still there. See? Oh, yeah. It was just the corner. The front side. Now you can, if you get the rest of that out, you can use epoxy and put that on there. Clear epoxy, it'll go right back together. Some of them you can't get out. Like I said, if you try to get them out, you crack them. It's better just to get the whole matrix piece out. All right, back to, to ground zero, and I got him. I got him, everybody. I got him. Now these ones here, like I said, like we talked about, how unique each one of them is. These ones are quite a bit different than the ones we're finding 15 feet downhill. But look at that. That is so perfect. Double terms. There's a couple more left in here. I'm going to be very, very gentle here. I've learned my lesson a couple times already here. Actually, I think this one's bigger than I think it is. Yeah, it's connected. These things, these things are connected. <gasps> there it is. Another bat tooth. Wow. So it's been a long, hard afternoon. We finally ventured around the mine a little bit and found this really neat cavern. So I wanted to get this on camera for you guys. But we're starting to, starting to see a lot of good material going down into this little cave here. Well, what do we have here? What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? There's some, some little guys. But we're starting to see them just randomly all over, just on the ground in here. So we're gonna start working our way back into this hole. Oh, here's another pretty one. A little hot spot. Another one. Let's get this whole rock out. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Kind of just a cluster of them almost. Okay. Look at this, everyone. A little pocket just full of them. Jeez, all undergrown. We're just gonna save this, set this aside. Let's get back in that cavern. Almost. Going for gold, everyone. Or diamonds, one of the two. Here we go. Ah, got it. Got it. Ah. Okay, I need a break. This is the real deal. The real deal, holy field. Got my first injury. Sliced myself open pretty good on that one. Thanks. There's enough dirt in it though, it's not bleeding. Perfect. Oh. Got it. See one more down there I want to get, but we're finding, as you guys can see, we haven't shown every one, but we're finding quite a few as we go through here. Quite a few really nice ones. We're hoping once we get to the bottom, we'll find a giant. We're on them better than we've been on them all day, so we're looking good. Hey, Jordan. What's up? Got a massive one, baby. I got a big face facing at me. What? I'm gonna let you do this one. Do the honors, baby. 
Just look at this hole. This thing is massive right there. See that? Yes. Look at that. I'm gonna let you let you have the honors, man. What is that? Oh, oh, oh. oh look at this! Oh my god. Look at that base, that's beautiful. Look at all the rainbows in there. That's a good one. Wow. Still goes, man. It's a big pocket. Okay. Let's see what else, man. Usually you get some small ones first and then uh, let's see if there's anything big in there. You never know. Oh, another one, another one, dude. Oh, there's another one right behind it, too. Oh, sweet. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at this, guys. Guys and gals. We found the honey hole at the last part of the day. They kick us out of here at five. It's four o'clock right now, so we've been another busting one. ass. Another one there, and there's, there's another face. one. Okay. I see another face down there. Wow. So this is the way the big pockets are. They're full of sand like this. And you just slowly work it away, and you'll find all the crystals that are in there. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, I don't want to break it. Dude, it's just getting bigger. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God. Is that a skeletal? It is, it's a skeletal. Check out all the... Oh my God. in there. Dude, we did it! It's a freaking tennis ball, man. <laughs> Look at that! We call it Palmer. It's as big as my hand, everyone. <laughs> that is so awesome. That is so incredible. I never thought in my life I would ever find something like this. I've been rock counting my whole life. We found a lot of different stuff in the Northwest, but nothing that can compare to this. Just look at it. Look at that rainbow. Oh my God. Beautiful. Let's see some comments, you guys. What do you think of this place? Tim, thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Oh my, I can't take my eyes off of it. That is so cool. Wow, I think the creator for that one. What a day. That's like an ideal skeletal Herkimer right there. Look at that point up the top. <coughs> nice and pristine. Oh man, wow. that is gorgeous. Well, we better check if there's more at least. You keep looking, you never know. Sometimes there's multiples in there. What? Well, I just saw another shiny thing. There's another one. Oh my god! Gravy Jackpot! <laughs> oh my god. Nothing compares to that one though. I think we're gonna have a hard time beating that. <laughs> holy shit. Pardon my language, everyone, but that's a holy shit moment. Oh, 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 one in the bottom. <laughs> wow. Best day ever. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. And another. It's like Christmas. I said, just make sure you feel all around, make sure there's no other little nodules in there. Sometimes, again, they're gonna settle right to the bottom. That big one probably was sitting right on the bottom, wasn't it? Yep. These ones were all, all those other ones were just in the tailings. Wow. That is so badass. Dude, hold that up again. Oh, see right here? Right here? That's called a keyhole. That's where another one was embedded in there and fell out. So I bet if we- Probably one of those. Yeah. It take a little while to find which one fits in there, but it fits in there just like a key, so they call those keyholes. And these triangle faucets here, those triangles are signatures for a skeletal Herkimer. That's how you know you got a skeletal. There's another one right there that hasn't fallen out. So a skeletal crystal is when you have multiple layers of formation over and over and over again. And so it forms all of these um, more or less like skeletal bone-like features in there with all these little striations. When you look through these windows, if you look inside there, you can see all of those lines. Those are all layers of formation. This thing formed probably over hundreds, if not thousands of years as new 
um, material came into the pocket and kept forming over that crystal, forming those layers, making those striations, and forming these nice windows here. God, look at that rainbow. Dude. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now let me get you a small bit. Actually, you want, uh, you start with one of these. I don't know if that's hard enough. I'll go get the fix. Going in, guys. I'm going in the hole. Here, trade me. Holy f shit, dude. <laughs> yeah? I'm not kidding. Oh my god, and there's a giant cave cricket spider thing in here. <laughs> I'm glad. I would wish I wouldn't have seen that. Dude. Here's another light. Oh my oh. god. Can I get a picture of it? Yes. I do. Here, take this. Holy shit, everyone. All right. Just wanted to share this with you, everybody. There it is. In the flesh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's get some good lights. Let's get this camera set up just right. Can you guys see it? I think so. I think it's right. Yep, there we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, I'm pretty freaking close. There it goes. There it is. A little bit fell apart, but there it is. There it is. <laughs> you and all its glory. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm not sure if you guys can see this creepy ass cave cricket spider. I don't know, but it's not very cool. It's very scary. It's a very it's scary, scary animal. He is. He's staring right into my soul. Oh, you're taking his gem. stop for a quick road soda before we head back. We're gonna go back and clean all these diamonds and show you the real haul from today. But before we do that, we have to stop for New York Staple on the way. Of course, we have to get some food in our belly and I know exactly the thing. Hey, buddy, I got a question. You take diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. What, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> we went and took us diamond mining for the first time today. All right. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah, that was a haul? Yeah. Okay. Right, we got a bunch. We got a bunch. But this is why I still had in my pocket. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, needless to say, we weren't coming all the way to New York and not trying some New York style pizza before we go clean our rocks. So here we are, the pizza stop. Let's see what they have to offer. Well, this isn't disappointing. Wowzer. We came to the right place to order pizza. I'm sure a lot of you pizza snobs from New York out there are saying, why the hell would you order a white sauce pizza in New York? Because it's what I like. It's my favorite. We ordered chicken, Parmesan white sauce, mushrooms, peppers, a little bit of onion. And it is looking delicious. Let's get in here. That is phenomenal as an insult. Ooh, look what else showed up. I couldn't go without a calzone. We've got the pepperoni calzone here. Oh, I love the cheese they use here. I'm gonna eat. Ladies and gentlemen, that was hands down one of the best pizzas I've ever had in my life. Hats off to you, pizza shop.
I must say I'm pretty proud of our finds here today. But once again, I really want to see your comments and get your guys' feedback on what you think of these rock hunting videos and these trips like this where we go way out of the way to bring these awesome videos to you, finding things like this here. This has been an incredible trip. A huge thanks to Tim for taking me out to these diamond mines. And if you guys have any mines out there across the country and you're watching this video and you want us to come film and, and maybe promote your property a little bit, feel free to reach out to the Stay Fishy page. And we would love, love, love to come out and see you and find more precious gems like we have here today. So with all that being said, huge thanks to you guys for tuning into this video this week. And until next time, same time, same place, you all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.